I'm here with Christophe Cabas, who is export manager and also responsible for the high-end product development at Cabas. Christophe, this is going to be a pleasure. You're going to become Dr. Cabas, and you're going to teach us a little bit about the SCS technology, which is very particular to Cabas. In fact, in all the product range, we've seen it in the sphere, this is the four-way uh, coaxial speaker. We see it in the three-way and also in the new generation two-way speaker. So give, a, give our readers a little insight behind the story of Cabas that's made that, with your father that made this product come, come alive in, uh, well, the company's now, what, 60 years old? Not 60 years old, yes, yeah. you're right. Okay, I'll give, you, give this to you. Okay, You're so right. thank you for giving us the opportunity to explain and to answer a question we often have, say, why Cabas is now turned to uh, coaxial systems. In fact, uh, the first speakers made by Cabas in the 50s, uh, that was for CinemaScope, were coaxial speakers. But um, my father gave up at that time because they were traditional coaxial speakers with a tweeter inside the the mid-range woofer. And that was off-axis uh, very problematic. So why coaxials? That's because we came from a simple statement is that at the listening point, and that's what means mean to us, we are listening to a part of direct sound and a lot of reflected sound. In fact, 70% of what you have at the listening place more or less, depending on the room, of course, is reflected sound. And this has to be very coherent. So reflected sounds, we mean reflections, floor, ceiling, side walls, rear walls, and rear walls also behind the speakers, not only behind you, in every direction. The window, if there's one. The window, everything. Everything does that. And so we've been working in order to have not only a direct sound, so the in-axis in response to be very flat. That also can be achieved like here on a conventional speaker. Okay, we know on, how to do it. Yeah, that's the brown one. Okay. And, um, but also the reflected sound. The problem you have off-axis with a conventional speaker, so I mean tweeter, mid-range, low mid-range, to say, for, for instance, if we take a freeway example, as we do here, you're going to have between the direct sound and the reflected sound a different delay because the distance is variable depending on the position of the driver on the cabin on, fr on the front of the cabinet and that's especially a problem at the crossover point between the drivers and uh, that's why freeway or four-way drivers are more difficult to make or needs larger room with our technology we don't have that here it looks like a you car. yeah exactly so here this is the polar curves at different frequencies of a traditional speaker. It looks quite messy. Mm -hmm. um, what we achieved with the system, because we've been using a special shape, and it's very easy to see here the principle we have. This is so the what we call the QC55. So that's quadricoaxial driver. You have a 22-inch woofer here, our 8-inch low mid-range, then you have a mid-range and a tweeter. And you can see here that it forms a portion of sphere. The tweeter is not loaded by the mid-range. The mid-range is also free in front of the, of the low mid-range unit. And the bass and the woofer is just behind it. And this and here you have then the polar curve of this system. So you see, of course, you have different directivity depending on the frequency range, but it's always very coherent. Uh, it remains really the same. So the resulting sound field you have a listening position is very smooth. And what's inside there is all that. So, yeah, so the four-way system, you have it, uh, an exploded view of it. So here you have the 22-inch unit here mounted in the lens so the triaxle the triaxle you can see better here which is the tc23 okay and you have so the low mid range you can see here this unit there the mid range unit and the tweeter uh, regarding la sphere which is our four-way flagship 
we have, uh, in addition to this principle of being fully coaxial, it's also a point source system thanks to a specific digital crossover we've been developing with a specific software. So what, so from a, so with a digital control and control of the digital delays, we have a point source. And with this system, but we have the same type of behavior for our more conventional coaxial products, but here is really an achievement. You have a very, very flat response and a very clear impulse response on axis, but nearly the same impulse response off axis, and here it's 30 degrees, so it's quite, it's quite away. And the other thing is that the frequency response is almost as flat as on axis. More important is that we are no longer talking about vertical directivity or horizontal. Everything is the same on the same 30 degree solid cone. So whatever the reflections, if it comes from the ceiling, from side walls, from rears, it will remain coherent the same way. That's why we call it a specially coherent system. Christophe? Well, thank you very much for the detailed explanation. For our readers, if they want even more technical explanation about the philosophy and the development, some of the algorithms, uh, there, there's a, a very long 15-page white paper, which they can download on the site, which is cabas.com. Uh, for the technical specs, obviously, they're online on cabas.com and also on sending out. Christophe, yeah. thank you very much for this explanation, and uh, looking forward to seeing you soon again. Thank you, Bob. Thank you very much. Thank you.